No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today I'm here with Lil Keed, one of my favorite rappers. Mm-hmm. New project is ridiculous, Long Live Mexico. Let's talk about it. Long Live Mexico, 20 tracks. Ridiculous. Ain't no skipping. Insanity. It really feels like you were just wilding the fuck out in the studio. Oh God. How long did this project take you? Let me just start there. <clears throat> well, all the songs, like, what I made within, like, Five to six months, all them songs. Oh, so you it took a good six months did. to work on it, though. Yeah, like, it wasn't going to be called Lonely Mexico because he just died. Well, he died, for, like, four months ago. Oh, okay, so that's one it of your homies. Me. Yeah, this is one of my brothers. Like, they're my brother. You feel me? So, uh-huh. um, it was originally called um, Studio Junkie. Okay. And then he ended up passing away, so I just changed the whole album up. did a um, tribute to him, Lonely Mexico. Uh-huh. Took the picture by the grave. Okay. And, and did now like it's all coming together. Me. And all came together. Bro, it's really an incredible project. I'm not going to lie to you. I listened to your brother's last mixtape for like a month or two straight. And I feel like this is the first tape since that project that I'm going to be listening to with that intensity. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Thank Can you, you. Talk, talk to me about that last Thug song? Um, Which one? Um, the the crazy ass chorus on it that leaked a few months ago. Oh, talking about Proud of Me. Yeah. Oh, um, that's a very unique sound from old, Thug. Though, yeah. Oh, that's old. That, that song like 2014. Oh, what? Yeah, they leaked it out like 2014. Right, yeah, because it sounded so 15. familiar. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, so when, they, when I heard it, when he, they played it when I was out here. When I came out here, the last time I came out here to LA, uh-huh. um, they brought it up. They were like, um, Sean, why don't you get on this song right here? Wow, really? So yeah. he's still pulling stuff out of the archives like that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah they made so many songs. Yeah, I believe it, but I always assume that like his songs from 2014 that he's done with it, he's moved on. Nah, they still sound like shit that be going on right now though. Yeah, it was crazy about all his music. That's insane. So, holy shit, to, that's crazy, man. So when he played it for me, I mean they played it for me. I'm like, man, I know this song somewhere. They're like, yeah, it got leaked out like 2014. They leaked it out, but they ain't have a second verse on. Well, he had two verses. He moved this, uh, the first verse to the his, the last verse and let me get the first verse. When you when you did the song with Uzi and Melly, were you all in the same room? Yeah, we all um, we was in Philly. It felt like you were all in the same room. That yeah. one was crazy too. It was in a different vibe. That just rapping. You were in Philly. Yeah, you it just was in Philly. Did a show or something? No, um, I had a show, but they ended up canceling um canceling it. Um, I thought it was a life of trip, life's a trip tour, and I was on right, trip, right. tour trip red, and um, I ended up flying out there with on um, Uzi just to kick shit, and, and, and I had to get on the radio too and do a radio interview. So that's re- the other reason I went out there. And then Melly was out there. He was doing the show. Yeah, he had a show, but when he did his show, he came to the studio with us. We just, and I just locked in and doing it. We did more songs than that one song, though. Really? We didn't just locked in, huh? What was your impression of Melly? That's my dog. You know, when Melly in Atlanta, he be with me. But Oh, okay. So you, yeah, you hung out with a bunch of other me. times? Hey, yeah. Okay. My dog. That's fire. Okay, we got a song um, called um, Our First Song We Ever Did. It's on YouTube. They leaked it out. It's on YouTube. It's crazy. It's oh, called, really? Um, it it sounds like somebody in the background, like somebody stumping. The whole time, like somebody marching. The whole I got to get on that. I'm it's lacking a, on my leak, my leak knowledge. Do this type in look key to melee is gonna pop right up. Have you had a lot of issues with stuff leaking? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. That's always been a huge thing for Thug like, too. Like um, money fitties got leaked out, so I had to put it out. Walk got leaked out, I had to put it out. Right. Now, all these songs get yeah, getting leaked out, but they were helping me get bigger though. That what was crazy. That's the crazy shit. That Car- that Cardi song right now is like one of the biggest songs in the yeah. country, and it's a leak. It's crazy. You can't even officially hear the real version on Spotify. It's insane. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That was so. It really sometimes that might stop it 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 it'll fuck up like um how you want to bring the out the song you feel album promoted, release type you feel shit it, yeah. it'll fuck it up but like that close on uh, what is close friend baby oh yeah one yeah. of them song got leaked but it still sound good yeah like, the song sounds he it, just again he named it leaked it's like, almost like the fans want to listen to it more when it leaks because yeah. that makes them feel like they're part of something exclusive yeah yeah for sure. That shit's crazy. Yeah, we're going crazy. Do you get offended when a song leaks? Like, and you and you see all your fans geeking out about it. Does that piss you off, or are you like, come on, man, just just wait, just yeah, respect I me? Just wait, yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Just chill. It's gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. they be thinking you gonna hold it for so long. You're like, I'm they, trying to make some money off this shit. Exactly. They be texting like, my my partners around me. Do you got any unreleased key songs? I will buy them. We'll give you whatever you want. Really? Oh God, dude, that shit's crazy as fuck. This shit get on my nerves. <laughs> oh God. That's totally understandable. Um, so let's just talk about your upbringing and where you were coming from and everything, because like y- you stand out to me as being maybe like the slightly more 
under control version of your brother like in yes. terms of personality you guys have sort of similar voices and accents and stuff but he's like bro he ran up in here just looking for chips and percocets like immediately or he he, he, he got a soda he dropped a percocet right away he's just sitting there drinking a blue soda you hey, seem a little bit more under control yeah, i'm gonna be honest chilling. with you <laughs> he, he he little percocet i don't know why did he when he got on this shit but he's that little this shit you don't like it and i don't take percocet no more yeah but i want to i like i'm not uh, like you know how folks like they take a drug and they get addicted and mm. they can't stop. I'm not that type of person. I yeah. can stop anything I'm doing. I can just stop cold turkey. Like I don't have to go to no damn rehab. None that make me stop. Cause I'm gonna stop anyway. If I get a bad experience from it, I'm not doing it again. That's interesting because I noticed that you like previously said in interviews that you don't really fuck with the designer shit. But then yeah. at the same time, I will hear you mention designer shit every once in a while. It yeah. just seems like you're not as nuts over it as some people are. No, I like customized shit. Mm. Right. You feel me? You got just, the slime gear on right now. Yeah. Is that your merch? No, it's, uh, my merch. Oh, this this rat yo. Okay. He know rat yo. He live out. He from out here. Okay. But yeah, I think he make a lot of slime shit for on um, thug, and so the whole team be wearing it and shit. You feel me? Right. But um, my merch like just came out. It's online though. It's um the link in my bio on Instagram. He clicking. I got some crazy shit on there. I'm gonna hit that for sure. Hey, yeah. Um, but okay. So talk about you and your brother coming up together and stuff because obviously you you've been around each other since day one. But when when did the music start to become part of the relationship? Um. Man, I ain't gonna lie, look, I was rapping before me. Okay. So he been writing. Like, then when he was writing, then back then, he was in school. Like, he was like in ninth grade. Cause he, you know, he a year under me. I'm 20. I mean, I'm 21. He's um finna be 20. Okay. In, um, in August. So he always been like right there up under me. So that partially explains that you might just be a little bit older and more mature, even yeah. though it's like a year difference. Yeah, it's just a year different, <laughs> but I'm more, way more mature than him. Oh, okay, sure. okay. But is he gonna get mad when he hears that, or does he know that too? He know that. <laughs> I tell his ass nothing. He already know. But bro, <laughs> but not a, um, he was rapping before me. Um, I didn't really start taking it serious till like two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, cause I walk, I, cause I walking on Cleveland, Cleveland a year straight, going to the studio mm -hmm. every day. I mean, um, that one Mook told me he the one who produced Money Fetish, Blicky Blicky, um, what else? On um, Balenciaga, like mm -hmm. that was like when I first met, I met him like. Like two Easter's ago. Okay. So um, when I when I met him, we locked in. And I used to go to his studio every day. So God had started coming to the studio. Mm. But he see God like the, he was mama mm -hmm. rapping. And I like mm, I just kept telling him like open your mouth, bro. He get mad. <laughs> I tell him open up his mouth. You feel me? He's get mad. He'll mm. start recording or he'll just book his session. Make sure to tell Mook, look, when my brother here don't book no session. When he gone, I come. Mm. He won't he won't be by himself. He always been like that. Really? He not like me in the studio with him. Okay. He, want, he want me to hit a finished song. He know I'm his bit of criticism. Like, so he wants to finish the song on the spot, whereas yeah. you're happy to like work on it over time. Is that what you're saying? Nah, nah. No, I'm saying like he don't want me oh. in there telling him what to do. Right. You feel me? So he like don't book my sister. So like, is it still sort of that like big brother little nah, brother thing? No, nah, nah, we good now. Okay. Like, he, he know what he got to do now. So yeah. I, I mean, you guys are both him. popping off crazy. Yeah. It's actually yeah. wild as fuck to see. We pray for this shit. We's been in the room. We get in trouble going in our room. Man, we ain't gonna never come back to mama. We ain't gonna. We we'll get the money, but we gon' like we just be saying stuff like this, and we did it. Yeah, actually, it's fucking motivating as fuck to just see you guys making it at such a young age and coming up out of that environment where you probably felt like rap was like your only way to get out of the situation, right? Yeah, yeah, because bas basketball, I had to stop playing basketball. Oh, I started did. getting lazy, and I'm like, yeah, nah. It's so hard for people rapping. to manage both. Popped off with me, so yeah. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to be a basketball player and do well with it unless you're, like, working out all the time and having this, like, clean-ass lifestyle. Yeah. And then, meanwhile, that's kind of hard to pull off if you're also being a rapper and staying in the studio till 8 in the morning. Exactly. You ain't gonna get, man, your body gonna shut down. Yeah. You better do that shit. Yeah, when's the last time you did some sprints? <laughs> man. <laughs> Running up and down the court and shit. Man, shit, I can do that shit now, but <laughs> you gotta do half court or something. I can't do that full court, man. Hell no. Nah. Half court. <laughs> gotta do half court. You don't exercise? You don't ever, like... Play a little basketball just for fun now? Yeah, we um I'd be out here in LA, we just be shooting around the goal, just shooting shots for mm -hmm. money and stuff. And we yeah, think about like that's exercise because you don't keep, you know what I'm saying? That's you exercise your own with upper body. Mm -hmm. You don't keep long, you trying to shoot the ball from long range, so using all your strength, you mm -hmm. feel me? And we doing ten shots, like four series of ten shots, you feel me, for yep. the money. And I feel like you might kind of take it for granted that you're young and you feel good and your body feels good right now. But over time, I feel like as you get older in particular, you want to keep your mind as active as possible, and that exercise is going to get the fucking blood pumping. Like maybe if you ever feel like you're kind of like you know in a in a situation where you feel like you have writer's block or whatever, I feel like exercise is going to be the number one thing that's going to help you push past that. Right. Yeah. I, I, um, 
I was gonna, when I got back to Atlanta, I was gonna get a um, boxer, like a trainer on boxing. That's a good idea too. That. That's a crazy ass workout. Some push ups or something. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to be got down caught these swole rocking no, yeah. arms out. I ain't <laughs> trying to, yeah. I ain't trying to Looking it. like you just came home. Yeah, I ain't trying to look like that. I just wanna get a little. You know what I'm saying, to get my win right. I got a theory that rappers can't really pop off if they're too muscular. I don't, don't know no swole rappers. Exactly, like it don't really happen. But you know what happens is that. All of a sudden, over they, time, man. Yeah, they start getting buff back, when they're yeah, like 35. Yeah, yeah. He's full, like uh, Dr. Dre, everybody. Exactly, yeah. 50, but 50, he was the only person. 50 was a weird one. He was yeah. like a dude who came out, was blown up, number one rapper, but also clearly on steroids. That was wild as fuck for me to see. Yeah, like he's strong in here, like home, buffy foot. And he was wearing those little ass tank tops with the striped <laughs> sleeves yeah. that look weird as fucking yeah. retrospect. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Who are you inspired by? Like, who are you actually listening to that made you want to go and get in the studio? Thug and Pee Wee Longway. Hey, shout out my man Pee Wee. Long way, long way. I'll blow my hand. Underrated goat that. Needs to be mentioned more you often. Said it, you said it right. Underrated goat. Yep. Home fire. Like everybody, like Thug is one of the greatest stylistic geniuses of our time, but yeah, Pee Wee yeah. is also up there and he doesn't get the credit he deserves. Both of them putting this shit on. Mm hmm. They put this shit on for sure. Facts. You're but, like, damn, how the hell people know he can fit in this shit, man? You can't, like, he put this shit on every day. Every time I go to this page, he got outfit on his heart. <laughs> Shalon, Thug, he gonna put that on, he gonna put this shit on every day anyway. Right. He might change two times and both of the like, throughout the day, he might change two times. Both of the outfit hard as fuck. You like, man, what the fuck? He ain't taking that long. He just going there, come right back out fast as hell. He got a new outfit on. That's crazy. Shit together. One time I heard Juice World talking on the phone to Thug about like designer shoes. And I was just like, God damn. I wish I cared about anything. Man, man, got so many fucking shoes. <laughs> they care so much. They are so into it. I was just like, holy fuck, there's a whole world out there I don't know about. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. He's not got so many shoes, but oh god, his dad got so many shoes. Does he motivate you? Does he feel? Because to him, like fashion is like a fucking religion. Yeah, hey, yeah, he loves fish. Uh. You gotta put this shit on. Does he motivate you? Like, man, I gotta get fresh as hell. I can't be wearing hey, the same yeah. thing twice. Hey, yeah, but I got it more look up to thought than when it comes to dressing. Okay, I, mean, I don't really be caring about that shit. I put on what I, I wear, what I want to wear. Uh. Like, I wear Bob Man's F one. I love white F one. So. Nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna go spend my money on all this shit. Like mm. he gonna go spend, Slime gonna go spend his money on fifteen thousand dollar pants, literally fifteen thousand dollar pants. Might wear them one time. The fuck? Leave the tag on just so you can see like all his every, everything in his closet still got the tag on it. That's insane. He don't rip the tag off. Do you think that he thinks that that is like gonna motivate him in the studio that he's gonna make a hit because he got fifteen thousand dollar pants on? Yes. He's gonna rap about it. <laughs> That's crazy. He's gonna say it in a song. It kind of makes sense to me he too. He might think he's playing, but he did ass here. Mm. He did ass. But you know what it is is that rappers like you and I think Thug is really kind of like one of the earliest ones of this is that you guys like you when you make music it's like energy music in the sense that I think you realize that when you go in the studio you gotta be in the state of mind yeah. to just find that creativity within you and wh whatever it takes whether it's the right drugs that you might be doing the right thing that you gotta eat whether the right way that you're dressed it's the right something. people around yeah. you have to create that environment that's gonna facilitate that energy right yeah that vibe you gotta come with that vibe mm. see me I, I mean it, it be like I be drinking Hennessy like, I love Hennessy that's something like I first started drinking Hennessy with Mexico really yeah so yes and then I think that's a safer bet than lean yeah, I drink. I drink me some Hennessy. I drink a lot of water though. You feel me? So mm. I ain't worrying about the other shit. They come with you drinking liquor. Mm. No, I ain't worrying about that because I drink water all the time, like all day long. So Hennessy get me in my, in my, in my, in my. You know what I'm saying? My vibe. Hydration's the best because if you ain't hydrated and you start drinking some Hennessy, then you are gonna be fucked up real yeah. quick. But yeah. if you're hydrated, you can sit there and sip it and be. Keep sipping it. Keep sipping it. It helps a lot. That's why whenever. That's why if you hang out with some girls, they're never hydrated enough. You start drinking with them, they get too drunk too fast. Yeah, they were drunk. I'm two shots and shit, and they're following around and shit. I don't drink. I don't drink clear liquor. Like mm. I can't drink that shit. No, girls always want tequila and shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit is nasty. Yeah, that's how, like it's um it's an old head back um it's an old head back in um Atlanta at this club I be at. He keep trying to get me to drink moonshine every day. I oh see them. He ain't called. He, they call him Cowboy. He old. He old as fuck. Really? Every time he see Key, come here. Take, just take a little shot of moonshine with me. Hell no, nah, that shit strong as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I cannot take no damn. I'm moonshine. taking a couple shots of it. It's fucking intense. You know what I'm, I'm not. Finna, I don't want the intensity. Yeah, like I drank like a little tiny shot like that, and I was feeling kind of drunk. Like maybe I shouldn't drive home. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Now he probably gave me a big ass shot. And I was fucked up. <laughs> that's I fun. shoot. I shoot pool. 
Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. I love pool. We need to play. We about to get a house, and that's my main goal is just to get a nice ass pool table so I can work exactly. on my skills. Man, I goes, I work on the motherfucker every day. Really? Goes, hey, yeah. I was, when I was just in New York for my little um before the album came out, the promo run. Uh -huh. I took the label to the pool hall every day. Really? They drunk they drunk your foot <laughs> at the pool hall. <laughs> the label people always be hey, drunk. Yeah. Nah, hell nah. They probably <laughs> no, I made I made they get drunk. Okay. Shit, I'm here. Like, <laughs> yeah. You feel me? So I was because New York's not one of my favorite places to go to. I really? love New York as you know what I'm saying, like that's like a to me like a business type of we mm. go there's own business. You come out here, you working, you feel me? It's a vibe. It's Cause they they economy is in the air. Like you gotta get on elevator, go yep. to everything. I don't like elevators. That's the vibe. When you're in the middle of New York City, it's like it feels like everybody's just doing something. So you're everybody like, fuck, I gotta do something. I gotta yeah. work right hard, real hard everybody right working now. Out there. Like everybody's working. Like ain't nobody not doing nothing in New York. You feel me? So. It's hard to feel like you've made it when you're in New York in the middle of Manhattan because you're surrounded by Manhattan. so much money, so many rich people that you're like, you, you yeah, can't yeah. just feel like, oh yeah, I'm killing it. I'm in, I'm, I'm him. No, it's a lot of hymns out there and mm -hmm. hers. You feel me? <laughs> Facts. Um, so, okay, you you start recording. Your brother starts recording. So all of a sudden you're making some noise on your own. Did Thug notice you before you really got popping in terms of, like, YouTube views and shit like that? No, he know, yeah, he knew me before okay. I got down, got popping. It was a video that he made when, I, when he first signed me. It was like, um, he like, um, we, was, we got on my first time flying. was a jit. He mm. took me, we came out here. No, we went to New York. As a matter of fact, we went on the way to New York. And he made a video. He was like, he's going to be a star in two weeks. And no cap. Wow. I blew up for two weeks. How'd you guys meet? How'd this go down? Um, it was just apartments over there on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta. It's over there uh, where, he, where the Young Thug's from. Okay. And, um, apartments, he hit me and my son. I wrote about them a lot. Um, 250. Okay. I wrote about them a lot. So. And so he just pulled up to the projects? He, was there. he pulled up to the projects out there just with his family and stuff. You feel me? So, And then I, he was out there dancing to a song I had did. And then... He got done, came over there like, what you working on? Let me hear something. Let me hear something. He said, I got you. His mama like, you need to sign him. Uh -huh. His mama. Say, but you better his get mom key. knew it because yeah, he's yeah. crazy close with his family, right? Yeah, yeah. His sister might here right now. We all at the studio right now. Yeah, he put his sister on one of, on one of his albums. He had her rapping and shit. Yeah, yeah. That blew my mind. Dolly and Dor. Yeah. Yeah, they can rap. I also like that one video where uh, they're all eating around the table and his head comes out oh, from yeah, the middle of the table. <laughs> yeah. It is crazy. He loves his sister. Man. He loves his family. Yeah. You still super tight with your family? Yeah, yeah. That's one. That's one of my big brothers right there. Oh, for real? Yeah, my dad's side. Oh, I didn't know that. I flew my head to come fuck with me. What do your parents think about seeing you and your brother blow up at the same time? They so love it. It's still a little confusing for them, or are they like just one hundred percent hyped? Folks love that shit. My dad sit in his house and watch the on TV, us on, on his TV all day long. Uh huh. Oh shit! Got to get the water, balance out the out the exotic sodas. Yeah, yeah. I can't drink I don't drink soda like that. Hmm. Yeah. Me neither. I'll drink one once in a while, but I don't really go crazy with it. We got them in front, though. People always think I must be some fucking connoisseur of the sodas just because I, I got them in the store. I ain't gonna make some money. That's a lot of a lot of sugar. Exactly. That's a serious decision for me. Spice wood peach. We got all the rare shit coming in. It's just like 120 calories. So was it a hard decision to sign with him, or was that just like obvious as fuck to you? Um, hell no. Nah, I was gonna go. I've been said, man, I was signing slime. Mm. I remember when something thought it happened. Right. How can you not? How can I not? <laughs> I'm exactly. glad I did it. Do you feel like, um, I'm just thinking about this because I'm looking at your slime shirt. It feels like you guys were like innovators of that shit. And yeah. now I seen a white kid with a tattoo that says slat the other day. <laughs> it's taking over yeah. the world. Hey, yeah. Slime, man. Slime taking over the whole world. Yeah. Like, they love the slats, man. Is it weird for you, though, to see that that, that yeah, nah. slang becoming so big? Yeah, no. Nah. Thug got that shit big. Mm. And we, you know what I'm saying, we, we getting it extra bigger. Yeah. You know? I'll ask people. I'll be like, what, like, what, like, early on, I remember asking DJ Scheme. I'm like, what does that slat shit mean? He's like, I don't really even know. I just hung out with Thug the other night, and I just couldn't stop saying it after. Yeah, he's slat. He's slat. He's slat. We call, each other, we, we call each other slat. Slat. Instead of saying each other name, hey, slat. Instead of like, hey, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah, hey, bro. it's a greeting. Yeah, that's all it is—a greeting. All right, Slat. What's up, Slat? Like just a greeting, he ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to be any certain type of dude. Like, are you? Have you heard some like nerdy ass white kids saying that? Like myself, you just kind of accept it. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, like it's a greeting. It ain't no gang shit. It's mm. just a greeting. Like, hi, hey, how you doing? What's up, Slat? <laughs> People try to make it out like it's a blood thing. Nah, it nah. ain't nothing like that. This is family. Uh, 
It's, it's all the business at the it's end of the day. Business. If you got slang, that's the goal is to come up with something that's so hot that all the little kids start repeating yeah. it, and then all of a sudden you're making money from it. You're making money off of it. Mm. But like, this just family. It's all it is. It ain't nothing got to do with no gang. Folks try to make it out like it's a blood set, blood gang. It ain't nothing like that. It ain't mm. that at all. Definitely. It's family, like real family. Man, come from this, like, this is background. Was Lil Keed your first rap name? Yeah, Lil Keed was my first rap name. I ain't got no other rap name. Okay. That's good to know. I ain't, no, ain't changed no name. Cause my name, Rocky. Mm. Lil Keed. There you go. Folks was calling me Keed anyway because they ain't know how to say my name right. Mm. They'll call me Rashid, Rahim, <laughs> Raquid. Shit like that, you feel me? So, but, um, <clears throat> Man, my name Keith. I'm telling folk, man, call me Keith, man. Mm. So everybody call me Keith. I feel like one crazy thing about you is that you've gone viral multiple times based on people not really understanding what the average rapper sounds like in the studio. Because you're willing to actually put it on Instagram Live of you like feeling out a track, sort of putting that like, can you know, it's like a lot of times people when they don't write write st their stuff down, there's a little bit of mumbling and just finding yeah. the flows. And especially somebody like you, you have a lot of really interesting different melodies. You take tracks in all kinds of different directions. Yeah, I do a lot of harmonizing. Like yeah, like, so I've been wanting, to, I didn't want to see like the process of like what I went through to make this song. Like I ain't in here just writing nothing. I really just right here and just mumble it all the way out. Then fix it. Yeah, like a puzzle. It's a puzzle. So that's how you think of it. It's like it. you create like a like an idea of what it's gonna sound like, and then you go in and tune it up and and actually figure out what you really want to say. Yeah, for sure. Um, it just it's just, like I said, like a puzzle. Like, and it, it helped me make my song faster. Mm. Like every song I did, like on the album, I never wrote ever. It come off the top of my head. Just this day, I made this. I made oh my god, um, oh my god, um, nameless. And it was a song called Inhale, Exhale that I didn't drop on the album. But I made all them songs in the same night. The same, you know what I'm saying? Would you consider three songs in a night a lot? Yeah, nah. What do you think is the most you ever did? Um, I was out here, I did 10 songs in one day. Sober? Yeah, I mean, nah, I was smoking then. I was smoking. I don't smoke. I don't do nothing now. I just drink Hennessy. Smoking is still sober, if you ask me. Yeah, smoke, yeah, smoke don't do nothing like you feel me. If you told me you were off like a bunch of perks or something, and then you made ten songs, I'd be like, yeah, well, you you powered up off the perks and made all those I'll songs. I'm just smoking this shit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You you seem like you're you're relatively mature. You know, you're you're ready for all this shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. Like like, folks be think I'm supposed to be when I be seeing other rappers and shit. I'm supposed to be oh shit to go. I'm not doing it. Like <laughs> that's not me. Me and got it. Ain't don't get no fuck. Mm. We don't care. We stars too. Yeah. You feel me? So I just be want niggas to understand that we ain't gonna do that all that. Like we see what's up, what's mm -hmm. up. We like damn, they whoop whoop. Okay, boo. We going on about our business. Definitely. You feel me? They respect that about us. We ain't, gonna, I mean, ain't shit grouped out about us. Yeah. You feel me? How's it feel though, just being like that new dude in Atlanta right now that's just blowing the fuck up, and all of a sudden everything's changing. People are paying attention to you. I feel like you guys like last year we had Gun and Little Baby. Yeah. And then I feel like you guys are kind of like the next. I mean, wave of like, here's the new fire shit coming out. Yeah, yeah, that shit feels like so good. Like, and then I come out like, and the landlord, and I come out, they won't pitch. Like, everybody want, I'm like, can, I, can I take a picture with you for my son, my daughter? Mm -hmm. And I'll be so happy that I took a picture with you. Like, it'd be grown folk. Right. Then on top with the kids and shit, but it'd be grown folk. Like, they mom and dad, his grandmas come up to me, want to take pictures with me. Like, they were folk don't, don't even know. It's still kind of new to you, huh? Yeah, it's still new. I'm getting used to it though now. Yeah, all of a sudden it's gonna be like, I mean, just think about where you're gonna end up in the sense that, like, you know, if you're a thug, like, you can't, you ain't really trying to go that many places and shit because the, the amount of people coming up to you is so overwhelming. Yeah, I don't really go nowhere. Like, I go to the same spot every day. Where's that? Just the studio? Blaze. Blaze. Yeah. Okay. I go there every day. <laughs> My mama, you can catch me in there. You just post up and just, are you always working on songs or are you just listening to your existing stuff or? Yeah, I, I don't mean, I don't make a million songs like, like, Thug got a lot of songs, like, at least over, like, 20,000 songs. 20,000, Jesus Christ. No That's why I can't believe that you actually came back to one from 2014. This shit came from 2014. That shit hard as fuck, ain't it? But, see, I don't want to make that many songs because mm. I don't want to be able to not drop no song. I want to be able to drop songs, so I do a portion. Like, I just... Excuse me. But, um... Burp season. I mean, what? I'll, just, I'll just let it go right into the fucking mic. <laughs> 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 not a... Um, I don't be wanting to make too many songs to the point where I can't put them out. Mm. 
then I'm just stuck this to the song, and, or, and they can't listen to it. Or if you end up with a bunch of songs that yeah. are kind of similar to each other, and you're yeah. like, man, I, I want to put all my effort into one that is like that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Them, so then, then, then we have the chances of them getting leaked out. They got so many. Mm. You've been, I forgot about this song. I, I got songs I've been, I don't forgot about this hard. Right. My brother don't be having them like, well, you remember this song? But this shit, oh, the fuck, I've been made this song. Yeah. Is that almost where for you, when you look at your project, because a lot of the songs on it feel old to you already because you made them six months yeah. ago? Yeah, and I've been listening to them for every day, way before the project came And you out. got so many songs that aren't even out yet that you're already thinking like, man, my fans, if they knew about this new shit I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm already working on new shit. Mm. Like, I don't stop working. Definitely. Okay, we don't put out Lonely Mystical, but we still got to do the next thing. Yeah. What's the next thing? Are you thinking about like what the the album is gonna be, yeah. or are you thinking you're gonna need to do another tape first? I'm gonna after the album, after this album, do another tape, mm. a mixtape. Definitely. Not too many songs like I did on the album though. But it's just an album. This album. So. Oh, this is the album. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this was the album. This is officially the album. It's not, not a tape. Album. Okay. This is not no tape. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, album. it's lit as fuck. Shit, lit. Easy. Um, Gary V. I'm gonna call Gary V. You know he gonna give me advice about it. <laughs> How'd you make friends with him? See, they bring him up on Instagram. Like, like your music, your music's fire. Right. And I used to always be like, damn, who the hell is man? They always giving me for all this damn advice. This man be knowing everything. <laughs> and he came down, he reached out to me, flew out. And I made that song while he was in the Essen. Mm. He was in the studio with me when I made the song. Wow, really? Yeah, he was in the back talking to my managers. That's energy right there. See? That's crazy because I remember I was at Complex Con and that might have been six months ago or something. And I said to Gary Vee on camera, I'm like, who's the new rappers that you're fucking with? And he goes, I'm fucking with Keed and got it. I'm good. And that was like, I had like a couple of days before that just heard you guys for the first time. So I was tripped out. I'm like, God damn, Gary Vee, you knowing about shit that I just found yeah. out about the other and Mike day. Boyd. That was early. And Mike Boy. He's an AR. Yeah, he got down. He cool as fuck. He always beat him up. I always make the Monday, the um, Mondays playlist. Right, yeah. Man, got it been on there for like every day. I mean, every Monday, like we're gonna be on there. I guess he knows what he likes. Yeah, well, the first day I met him too, he was like, he had just met Trippy Red. He's talking about different skateboarders he had just met and shit. I'm like, damn, you're you're inspiring me right now that you yeah. are paying attention to like what's going on. Yeah, yeah, he's paying attention to everything. Who is there anyone in particular that you're a fan of that you still like would want to meet? Not even necessarily a rapper, but like you know, a, a, an Obama, a, a, a oh, Oprah Winfrey, anything like that's that. Not in the rap game. Yeah. Because um, Gary Vee's pretty up there. He's kind of like an Obama. Yeah, he's like Obama. <laughs> um, um, I want to meet Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah, that would be fire. Hey, man, funny and fuck. I want to meet um, Mike Epps. Yep. He just falls. I want to meet Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Oh, yeah. You know, the kid who ran up in here with a gun, he tagged Ice Cube in the post. In here? <laughs> yeah, in the front a while yeah. back. We can't try to rob the place. He tried to rob the place with a BB gun with nothing in it, and he was Instagram filming himself the whole time, like 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 that. Dumb as fuck. <laughs> One of the employees got to go to court in like a couple months and like talk about it. Uh, definitely go tell him. <laughs> Basically, but at the same time, it's like I, I don't I don't really feel that bad for him. It's like he's just trying to work in a fucking bike shop. He didn't ask to have a gun put in his face. Yeah, he just working at the bike shop. He was slick with it, though. He, like, walked over to the door and just slammed the door in the guy's face. And then the guy threw the gun. I'm, like, watching this. I'm, like, why'd you, why'd you throw the gun? Like, you didn't even do anything with it. You don't got a reason to hide it. Yeah, it's, it's a BB gun. Yeah, go hide it in the fucking sewer, you psychopath. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm good. What are you, like, we were talking about how, you know, okay, your brother is filling a large part of his life with partying. And clothes and all this shit. Like, where does your brain gravitate? Are you just like 100% music all the time or what? No, I be chilling. Mm. Like, I just let, I just go with the flow. I don't rush shit. I just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Like, so, but most of them, but no, this is my life. So, yes, it's always going to be about music. Mm -hmm. Until I branch off and start doing other things outside of music. You feel me? Do you think having a kid made you more mature? Yeah, yeah. I be tripping. Shit started to seem more serious after that. Yeah, yeah. Life's serious. It, it opened my eyes up. Like, damn, I got a little girl. Yeah. A beautiful little girl that I got to take care of. So everything I'm doing is going to affect her. Definitely. Feel me? So that way I just be chilling. Yeah. Are you on tour anytime soon? Yeah, I got my own tour. Oh, I'm for real? Key Talk to him tour. Wow. <laughs> That's out of here. This going to be bananas. Yeah. Like a home run. I want to see your shit live because you just, like, that mixtape has really captivated me, man. I'm still on it. I'm actually glad that this interview got postponed by, like, three days because it yeah. gave me time to listen to it a few more times. But, like, it probably came out, like, 
April. April third. Which 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 was single de Mayo? May third. May third, is that it? Single de Mayo. I ain't got no Spanish in my repertoire. I was gonna drop it on single de Mayo. You speak any Spanish? And I had Spanish class back in high school, but you know, I passed it, but I ain't never I used to be cheating on fool's paper. You know? mm. God, that's crazy. I was cheating. I passed like, it. That that seems so fucked up in retrospect though, like cheating in school. Like I was cheating in college. You can get a lot of trouble for that. You're gonna cheat, bro. <laughs> I don't stole the teacher got down. Um, <laughs> stole the syllabus. <laughs> man, the fuck the syllabus. The answer I don't stole the got no answer sheet. Mm. Went to the t- t- big test. I was sent to like we used to have a, a um they went everybody used to be on kick. Was, you remember kick shit back in the day? Kick, yeah. Kick. I had kick for a little so, bit. Um, Never really got into it. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of got down like friends on that motherfucker. <laughs> Not though. We had um, you got a texture tape out on that. Yeah. Everybody go buy my album. It go crazy. <laughs> That's like when you go to other countries, everybody's on WhatsApp. I don't know what that is. It's like this. It's actually owned by Facebook and Instagram, but it's like a texting app that nobody uses out here, and everybody in Europe and shit is like obsessed with it. It's crazy. It's a really weird Can thing. I go over there. I go to London on the eighth. Yeah, I know you're here with your girl, but like, if you meet a girl in England, they're like, "Oh yeah, hit me on WhatsApp." And you're like, "What?" And eventually, you start to have to get used to it. Yeah. Um. Like, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah man um all right you know i'm just happy that we got to connect and everything the project is insane everybody needs to go get that shit asap asap only mexico out everywhere every platform go get it right now only mexico you want what was it about mexico tell me a little bit about him real quick before we uh end this. mexico wasn't a dude he with you right or wrong like he don't care what i did like i'm with him like, whatever kid want to do, that's what we doing. Uh-huh. Like, that's what type of person he was. Soldier. Soldier, for real. Warrior. You got to appreciate a guy like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love a guy like that. Facts. Keep him on your team. And he was on my team. And he did a lot for me. Mm-hmm. So, and that was my that was my daughter, God, that. So. Whoa, really? That's why I took the picture with her at the grave. Yeah. Holy shit. That's serious shit. It's crazy. But it's all right. good, though. Appreciate you coming through. Anything you want to tell the people before we uh, wrap this? Go get that Lonely Mexico right now. It's fucking out right now. Our platforms, you dig. And shout out No Jumper. Hey. Sh- me. Shout Thank out Lil' Key. I'm part of the family now. I got both brothers on the show. My dude. Key talk to him. Huh. No Lil Jumper. Baby. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Lil' Key, up next. Go get that project. Shlack.